Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you the Ride or Die tag that was created by Jaclyn Hill. Um, I actually never planned on filming this video, um, but I was asked on Instagram by a couple of my subscribers to film it, so that's what I'm doing. Um, it was kind of hard, you know, certain products, um, you really haven't found like the best of the best yet, so you just kind of got to kind of have to wing it. So I am just going to jump in. Some of the categories were like no-brainers for me. Some of them were kind of eh, but um, First thing with primer, this is the uh, Smashbox Photo Finishing uh, Pore Minimizing Primer. Hands down, best primer I've ever used. It is not sticky, not tacky. It is not, um, like, doesn't have that slip to it like the silicone ones. It is perfect. It works beautifully wherever you want to blur anything, whether it's your pores or imperfections or anything. I just kind of set it, you know, a little bit um, on my forehead, you know, down my T-zone and what, whatnot. Um, it's, it's amazing. It holds your makeup on all day long as well, and it kind of creates a beautiful surface where your foundation will glide on and just kind of sit over those, um, pores it will really kind of create that barrier so i love it amazing use it constantly so that is my hands down my favorite primer um foundation was a little bit tricky i wasn't really sure um you know i'm still trying different ones out i know i have a couple that i really like so i went with the dior skin um nude air serum foundation this one is really good i can wear it you know in the dead of summer it really stays on your face it's very liquidy very runny but i find that it really soaks into your skin and kind of gives you like more of that airbrushed look um and this with that primer is just perfection so definitely the um nude air serum foundation one of my favorites one of my go-to's um Concealer, this, this one was actually a no-brainer for me. Um, I haven't talked about it in a really long time, but it's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. So good, so amazing. I Every time I travel, I end up taking this one with me because it doubles as an eye primer as well. Um, it is just so, um, it's very, you know, thick and, but it really stays put. That's why it's Pro Longwear. Um, and it really covers anything up under your eyes. If you have, you know, dark circles, this is what you want to really cover it up. Um, I find my best application with this is definitely with the beauty blender to kind of sheer it out because it is so thick um so just love to put it under my eyes like i said and prime my eyes with it and it keeps your eyeshadow on all day it's just it's so good um ride or die definitely is the mac pro longer um as for setting powder this again should come as no surprise the mac pro longwear pressed setting powder i haven't even hit pan on this yet and i use it constantly um you just need a little bit literally dust it over your face hold your foundation in place all day doesn't break up doesn't really have any oil come through amazing love it then moving on to brows really fast um the anastasia brow definer ride or die for me i cannot live without this i love this so much better than the brow is especially if you have you know if you actually have like brows that have hair that you kind of need to fill in um that's what i love this for on um, the brow is you know it's really if you have more thinner brows and you really need to you know kind of perfect them for me the brow definer is just so easy i the Brow is just too small for me. I really never liked it. Um, this is amazing. Just really define your brows where you need to and fill in any sparse areas. Perf perfection. Um, so for the brow gel, it's gonna shouldn't be any surprise. It is the MAC brow gel. Um, if you've been with me for a while, you know I hate the Anastasia one. I think it's overpriced for what it is, and it's just not, it's just too. I don't know. I don't know what it is about the consistency of it. I just really don't like it. I don't find that it really keeps my brows in place, and I just think the matte one is 10 times better and it's a little bit more flexible spoolie and it's really it really lets you really coat your brows and just keep them in place so that is definitely ride or die for me um as for eyeliner um i'm going to go with the mac feline coal power um eyeliner because for me it is all about keeping it in my waterline and my tight line and this is it i've used this for years this is a little baby guy and they do come in like full size um but i just use it constantly and sharpen it and it's perfection it really stays and it doesn't irritate my eyes I have I wear contacts I have really sensitive eyes there are a lot of eyeliners that I can't wear but this is number one then as for bronzer oh wait I forgot hang on let me stick with the eyes um mascara the Chanel um La Volume de Chanel mascara hands down go to love this um when you first get it I will warn you you will not like it because I never like it when I first get a new bottle because it is very runny and watery and I find that it really doesn't give your lashes the separation that you want they kind of clump together so my trick is when i get a new bottle when i get home i just kind of open it like this and i just kind of leave it on my vanity like this and kind of leave it for a day and then close it up and it's perfect the next day and going forward it just needs to dry out a little bit because it is very wet or if you apply it with a primer eye primer as well that works beautifully um so that is my go-to mascara, will never change. Um, now on to bronzer. <laughs> the um, Tom Ford Terra. 
you knew this was coming. Well, like I said, when some um, categories were no-brainers, this is definitely it. Absolutely love this bronzer. It is just beautiful. It's matte. It doesn't have any shimmer or sheen to it. It goes on your skin beautifully. It really works with any skin tone because it's not too orange. It's not too brown. It's just, it's beautiful. And the packaging is gorgeous. This is the little size. I don't even know why you would need the big size because it's just so, you know, gigantic. I've had this and I've been using this and I don't see I'm getting pan anytime soon. So I love that. As for highlight, um, when I really started looking through my, my highlighter collection, I realized that the one that I truly go to the most, that's ride or die for me, is the Hourglass Luminous Light. Um, this is the ambient lighting powder. This I have had probably since it came out. It is gorgeous. I mean, look at that. It is beautiful. It goes with any blush, any eye look. It gives you the prettiest highlights. Actually, what I'm wearing, it allows me to highlight any you know points of my face that I want, and it doesn't look too glittery or too glitter bomb. It is just beautiful. It is so when you blend it out, it's just it leaves like the most beautiful natural sheen, which is really what you want. I mean, you don't need to be popping you know in the day. So that is beautiful. As for blush, this was hard too because I was like, well, what's my ride or die blush? You know, what am I going to go to? And I knew. First of all, I knew it was probably going to be a MAC blush. Even though I have blushes from a lot of different brands, a lot of high-end brands, um, I still will always gravitate towards MAC, probably because that was like the first brand I really got into. I freelanced for them for a couple years, so I have a, like, a lot of MAC stuff, and I'm just, I'm always going to be partial to them because, it, you know, it's what I started using first. So, um, but I decided on the blush um, in Mocha, which again is the most beautiful um, pinky nude shade. It's so flattering on pretty much any skin tone. Um, I just, I love it so, so much. And it is right there. It, I can put it on with anything and it's beautiful. So that is that. Um, the next one, the eyeshadow palette, I'm cheating on this completely. This is again, my, um, MAC Z palette that I created. It is still a palette, so it counts. Um, this is what I did a video on a while ago. Um, this went over all the colors. This is definitely my go-to. Um, it always sits out on my vanity whenever I'm not sure what I want to do. I just pick this up, throw on a lid color, throw in a crease color, and I know it's going to work. It's going to be beautiful. That is that. It's not really cheating, so. <laughs> okay, the lips last. Last but not least. Okay, first things first, the Ride or Die Lip Liner. This, even though I haven't had this for a while, it's definitely my absolute go-to. This is the Too Faced Perfect Lips, Perfect Nude. If you obviously watch my channel, you know that I love pinky nudes. It's right there. This is a pinky nude lip lover's dream. It is just gorgeous. It goes with any, any pinky nude. Even if like now I'm wearing like a darker nude, it works with this. I have this on underneath. It's just perfect. Um, any, I wear this all the time, like almost every day, whenever I'm wearing a color like that, it just, it works, it goes with it. So that, hands down, ride or die. Lipstick, again, we're going on the MAC train. This is MAC Blankety. I love this color. I have worn this color forever. It is the most beautiful pinky nude. It is glossy, but yet it stays on your lips because it's an amplified cream. Um, it's just, it's perfection. I cannot say enough good things about this. It will always be my go-to. If you ever ask me what lipstick to wear for the rest of my life, it would be lengthy. Then as for gloss, I'm going to go with my Gucci gloss in 060, which is just, again, my typical pinky nude. But this is actually a darker nude, darker pink. Um, it's not the, the 020 that I have is really more of like a baby pink. This is actually a much more darker pink right here. Beautiful. Um, a lot of times I will just wear this on my lips by itself and it's perfect. It's not sticky, but it really lasts on your lips. So that is definitely Ride or Die is a Gucci gloss. And last but not least, Ride or Die, I'm adding this in the liquid lipstick, which is the Anastasia Pure Hollywood. Definitely can't say enough good things about this. Um, been kind of like loving liquid lipsticks lately. And right here, Pure Hollywood, everyone has this. It is beautiful. It's like a pinky, more has a bit more mauve in it, but it is beautiful. When I can put this with this, it's beautiful. So. And that is that, my ride or die lips. And I think that's it. I think I completed the whole ride or die tag. So yay. Um, <laughs> let me know some of your ride or die products down below. Love hearing what people's favorites are. This, this is a fun video to watch because it's like the best of the best going through your collection. So let me know your favorites. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and then give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.